I'm Kerry Payne. I'm a Rehab and Return to Work Coordinator for Sucrogen. There's three values that I hold, hold dear to rehabilitation and that's care, trust and confidentiality. You must care for that worker and their family and their workmates. It's, um, I think it's important to make sure that, um, that they're well looked after and that forms a good basis for, for any rehabilitation. Um, build that trust with the, with the employee and their family and it just makes the process a lot easier. And confidentiality, you, you've got to maintain that if, you, if you're going to keep the trust of that person. We live in a small country town so it's really important that you support not only the, the injured worker but their family. Sometimes we might need to um, you know, arrange accommodation and transport for the family members there and, and the same as when, when the injured worker um, needs transport to, for medical appointments. Always make sure that I attend those um, and take them up to those appointments. I find that time very valuable with the employee, you know, an hour or so in the car up and an hour or so back, we seem to build a relationship there. For me it's all about contact and keeping everyone in contact, uh, whether it be you know, the worker in contact with their workmates and, and things like if, if, they, if they can't come to work, we take the workmates to them. And just, just to keep them in contact and, and talk about how their work team's going, uh, that's something that I like to do. It's a really important part of rehabilitation of developing relationships. So things like, you know, making sure you've got a good relationship with your doctors. Uh, I do this by keeping in contact with them, keeping them up to date with our policies and procedures so that they understand that we have a workplace that is fully committed. You must involve everyone, whether it be the worker, the, the workmates, the family, management. You need to make sure you involve them, care for them, because anyone that has been involved in the incident is going to be hurting in some way. So it's really important whether it be just checking on them every day or offering them counselling um, for, for the people that were involved in the incident. Sometimes it's not just about the injured worker but it, it is about other people that were involved. We, we have our case conferences and, and we just make sure what we're doing is right. And, and through these case conferences, um, this is where we can check on everything that we're doing. If it's not right, because yeah, we don't get it right all the time, um, or the worker's not happy with something, or the doctors aren't happy with how it's progressing, well then, this is where we, we fix things up. You know, little things along the way, you know, I've had employees thank me for bringing them back to work because they were at a, a point where they really didn't want to come back. Um, things like that, where you, you get these small little rewards along the way. Nothing makes me happier than seeing our worker walk back in the door and come come back to work and I, I take great pride in being part of this process.